And despite the mineral resources in the area, the Ifija Kwabri South District remains underdeveloped in terms of road infrastructure. The Assembly has, however, taken steps to tap into their resources and cater for their developmental needs. Ifija Kwabri South is blessed with a lot of granite deposits. This has led to the establishment of several quarry companies in the area. But the district is one of the deprived. Road network is bad. To help develop the area, the assembly has collaborated with the quarry companies to establish a development fund. Proceeds from the fund will be used to build road infrastructure and embark on other developmental activities in the area. DCE for the area, Edupoku Christian, said the quarry companies have over the years neglected their social responsibilities. For the past 60 years since quarry started around this place, nothing much has been seen from them. They have neglected their social responsibilities. Apart from that, um, their activities are becoming inimical to the society. And out of this fund, we are going to use part as a social responsibilities and two, we are going to use it as a catalyst for the development of Afidia Kwabri South. Chairman of Quarry Association in charge of the northern sector, Edu Tutu Jemfi said the companies will contribute not less than 6 million Ghana cities annually to the fund. Ghana Beyond Aid, this is the rock giving back to Ghana. What we are generating is more over 6 million Ghana cities per year to Afidia Kwabri. And we believe they're going to follow it nationwide. If this goes across nationwide, we will see what the value of the rock is for the nation. Minister of State at the Presidency, Catherine Afeku, commended the Assembly for the initiative. Efija Kwabre South District Assembly has indeed set a pace by creating a fund to cater for the developmental needs of the communities under its jurisdiction through a very unique arrangement with the quarry companies. This indeed is a laudable feat worth emulating by all other district assemblies to support the president's visionary path to progress and self-sufficiency. The fund is expected to contribute significantly to the development of the district in terms of road, education and health infrastructure.